I'm sitting here at the Jaja Foundation, uh, I'd like to say fundraiser and, um, and, and um, award ceremony, acknowledging and giving a report back on how they, fund, how they spent their money. But at the same time, in a celebratory mode, and who do I run into but uh, a naturalized Jamaican, naturalized early on this year in Jamaica by the Minister of Health, I'm, I have the privilege of sitting beside Dr. Solis. And Dr. Solis, for those of you who may not know, um, is very instrumental in some activities at the Boston Manti in, um, Children's Hospital for several years. And in fact, we're involved in some um, memorandum of understanding as to how we formalize relations as a means of helping our kids in Jamaica. So, Dr. Solis, once again, welcome. And how are you doing this evening? Thank you. Good. I'm doing very well. I'm very happy to be here with my family and my collaborators. Right, right. Um, and, I see, and I see we have a young one here. Yes, Hello. yes. It's Costanza. She's my daughter. <laughs> OK. And so we have been recently in uh, Jamaica a couple of months ago. And um, we're continuing to work with the physicians that, uh, and nurses at the Bustamante Hospital for Children and trying to and help them um, in uh, gaining much more ex experience uh, and um, improving the quality of care of, uh, for the children with cancer. The physicians are wonderful. They are very, very smart and the nurses are very, very good. And so it's a lot of uh, education that goes on between the, um, us and them. And right. we also gain a lot from uh, our collaboration and from hearing from their experience. Right. So we have uh, big goals and we really hope that um, uh, things will go in the right directions and uh, kids will get the care that everybody else in the, right. the, in the, the, the collaboration with yourself and Dr. Trevor Dixon, Jaja Foundation, how has that been for you as an individual and so, as a professional? So for me it's been uh, it's a great experience because he's a, a very very motivated uh, driving uh, uh, person and he has uh, sort of like created and offered and opened uh, his infrastructures and his uh, knowledge of the people, of the environment, uh, um, so that it made for us much easier to go there and to understand how things work. Um, uh, so it, wor it really worked out very well and I think we have the same uh, goals and same, same obje objectives. So I think we're going to continue to work uh, together and I think we and I hope and I think we're going to bring with us many many more people. Right. So. Well I just want to say on behalf of the peoples of Jamaica, uh, both here I would say at home and abroad, here in the diaspora, I want to say thank you very much to you, or, to you and your family sure, no, for your it's contribution. A, it's our pleasure. I just really want, would like uh, people to really be, um, uh, you know, take uh, um, the advantage of this situation and become more and more involved uh, and always think to give back to your country. Thank you very yeah, much. Sure. Uh, there you have it, Dr. Solis. And I must also take this opportunity to recognize Dr. Um, 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 Dr. Morgan for his contribution, Michael Morgan for his contribution as well, as we seek to improve child oncology at the Bustamante Children's Hospital in Kingston, Jamaica. Another Jaja endeavor. This is Erwin Clare. On behalf of, hey, my friend over there, the Jamaican diaspora man, I like to call him.